All right, what is up? So I am slightly upset because uh, yesterday I filmed the video and I pressed record on my watch just like I did today. And when I went to go look at my phone, nothing recorded. So I just scrapped the video yesterday, which is really annoying because tomorrow, yesterday is actually a pretty good video. Some big things happened yesterday, training wise, uh, which I can just explain today and stuff. But anyway. We have deadlifts today, pause deadlifts, and uh, some back work, some biceps. So pump, hopefully, actually should be pretty solid today. Get a back pump, hopefully. I haven't had a good little pump in a bit, so uh, I will happily take it. Um, also, I, yesterday, was doing... So yesterday, I had close grip bench as well as SSB high bar squats. Um, when I was doing my close grip bench, the way my coach told me to do it, was... I right now have been benching with this finger, my um, my ring finger. I used and he told me to go two fingers over, so it'd be my pointer finger. I used to bench with my pointer finger on the ring, um, and I felt good. I don't really know why I changed that. I guess I changed it because I wanted to decrease range of motion a little bit because my arms are really long. You guys see my range of motion on bench is kind of insane. So uh, that was my close grip bench yesterday. And we were going over it and I was like, low key, I have a feeling he's going to tell me to make this my normal bench because I feel more comfortable in it and I'm just as strong and it just like everything felt a little better and it just looked to me it looks better honestly on on video it just looks like a more natural form um so that is now my normal competition bench form again so it's going to be pointer finger on the bar which means when I do close grip next time it will be like uh like this lined up with the ring and like way closer which is good because close grip is supposed to be close um, but that's a big change for me because my bench, I've been kind of consistently sticking with the, the ring finger on for a while just because I was like, hey, this, this is the least range of motion I'm legally allowed to do. I might as well keep it there. And it's been working pretty well. So I really had no interest in changing it. Um, but it definitely did feel better and it looked better. So my bench should hopefully start skyrocketing back up again. Um, that would be nice. And SSB bar felt good. Really hard. Yesterday was really hard. I had walking lunges, three sets of 10. Uh, just murdered my quad. So I'm wondering how pause dads are going to go today because I, I'm not really sore. Like I don't really ever get sore luckily, but like when I start working out, I might feel like the quads are a little fatigued. So we'll see. I do obviously bulk conventional. So my quads are not that much involved compared to sumo. Um, but it's obviously still a little bit harder on the quads than anything else on deadlift besides like your back on deadlifts. So We'll see how, how they move. Uh, I got paused at RP6, I believe, a top set of five or th four. I got to look. Um, but it's it's smaller reps. Fire RP of six, finally, for like the first time. Not doing RP5. I actually get to do some type of work here. So hopefully you can put some weight on from last week. Like hopefully around. I don't know how much weight to do, honestly. Uh, obviously, it's RPE based, so however it feels. But hopefully an extra 10, 15 pounds from last week. Landed RP5 on my pause deads will be good. Um, and the back row was really good last week. So it's a lot of, a lot more volume, which actually it's pretty good because my back, I feel like my back does really good with high volume and I haven't really been doing high volume back work for, for a good while now. Cause I did full body, you know, back hardly gets worked because I was counting my deadlifts as back work as well as like the additional like pull-ups or lap pull-ins I would do once or twice a week. And when I was doing upper low, I didn't even end up doing upper lower. It's just a full body. And then on Jeff Nippard, I mean, you get some good back work, but like I haven't done Jeff Nibbert in like over a month already at this point. So um, we're going to build up some back. We're actually going to get massive. going to get a little wide, hopefully. I do like back is like probably my favorite day to do, to be honest, besides like chest. I mean, I love doing chest, but back and chest are definitely very fun to do as well as you get to throw in a little biceps at the end of today. So that also makes it a little more fun. Um, I'm weighing in at 174.4 today. Yesterday, I went on a rant of how weight affects bulking versus cutting, which is why I was really mad when my video got scrapped because I was like, it's a good conversation that like kind of was just on the top of my head and it just like flew, it like flowed really well. Um, and I'm kind of upset that that didn't obviously get recorded because I feel like it was a good conversation. Probably like one of my better conversations I would have had on YouTube, but it's all right. I can talk a little bit about it now. I was just saying like, I went out for breakfast um, two days ago so in that video, it was the morning before and I haven't really been out for a meal in a long time. Like I've been eating at home, like really strict, really good, all my, like always my meals, like calculated meals to meet my macros at home. 
and I know exactly what I'm eating every day. I obviously went off. I had breakfast out with my, my family, um, and I weighed myself, and I ended up gaining two pounds. And I was, like, ranting. Like, obviously, I know it's not real weight. I still, I said this. I was like, I know it's not real weight. I know it's water weight. I know it's this, that, 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 blah. It's not a big deal. And I still, like, tried to keep my calories. I guesstimated as much as I possibly could. I'm not saying it was totally accurate, but I tried to make it as accurate as possible. All I'm going to say is I was freaking out yesterday because, like, I was saying like, I gained two pounds on a bulk, right? Like, your two pounds, even if it's water weight, you're going to hold it in a different way than on a cut. Because on a cut, if you eat a little bit too much, you can just cut more the next day or it'll just slowly go down. It doesn't really matter. If you do it on a bulk, you hold on to it more. So, like, I'm going to hold on to my water because I'm eating in a, de- like, surplus. I'm not going to lose weight unless I'm eating in a, in a deficit. Like, obviously, it fluctuates. But, like, in general, I'm not going to lose weight bulking. Obviously, the goal is to gain weight. So, I'm not going to lose weight. I don't want to lose weight. So, I'm saying if I put on two pounds, the chances of me actually fluctuating down that much was pretty high because two pounds of water weight when you keep eating in a surplus it should really stay there um but luckily i i like clear out my system i just drank a lot of water didn't have a lot of sodium yesterday and it ended up clearing me out and i ended up going back to like my normal 174.4 or whatever i am today but but i was just saying like if you put on a little bit more fluff on a bulk you can't really make up for it until you cut which sucks which is scary a little bit for like somebody coming like me that was like used to be fat and like got to getting abs and then lost the abs when they bulked last time and then cut and had abs. And now I've had abs for consistently like six months at this point. It's like losing the abs again is really concerning when I don't, I know I don't need to because I know I can stay lean like this forever and I'm bulking happily, eating a lot of food happily and I'm still gaining weight and I'm gaining muscle and I'm hardly putting on fat. That's the goal. The point is I put on two pounds in one day. I felt like bloated. I didn't really have abs. I was like, oh my God, like this sets me back because until I go to cut or maintain or whatever the hell I'm gonna do when I'm done bulking, I'm screwed, like I'm just stuck here now. If I didn't do that, like if I didn't go out and gain the two pounds in the one day, even though like I'm not saying my calories are still the same, it's just the stuff that's in food when you eat out, it's different. You hold the water differently, you hold everything differently. I have more fluff on me that's not gonna go away. And I was like, it's like annoying because on a bulk, you can't do anything about it. Like until you cut or maintain, you're not going to lose that little bit of fluff that you put it on. So that's why I think it's really important to stay in a clean bulk. Everybody does this dirty bulking. It's so stupid. If you stay clean in a bulk like I am, like say in a 250 to 500 calorie surplus, like depending on how new you are, you're not going to put on that much body fat. You're going to gain like muscle. You're going to be able to eat. Like it's just a good air. You don't need to eat 6,000 calories a day. Like it's stupid. I'm eating 3,500 calories a day. And I'm gaining half a pound a week consistently and I feel great. I look good. I feel my strength's great. Like everything's good. Like no, there's no problems. So I don't know why people love dirty bulking. It doesn't do anything for you at all. Like at all. You can only put on a certain amount of muscle per week, per month, per year. And half a pound a week is more than enough. Yeah, I'm putting on fat too. I'm not putting on pure muscle. I wish. If I'm putting on half a pound a week, that'd be two pounds a month. That'd be 24 pounds of muscle a year. I wish. If I put 24 pounds of muscle a year, I'd be on steroids. I'd be happy with that on steroids. Like, I, I'm nowhere close. If I put on 10 pounds of muscle the whole year, I'll be happy. And that's normal. But, like, that means the other half is fat. And then, and sure, obviously you cut and bulk, cut and bulk, and you get rid of the fat. That's the whole point. But the cleaner your bulk is, the easier it is to cut because you can cut on more calories and slower and maintain more muscle. Like everything should be slow. Going fast in any type of dieting, whether it's bulking or cutting, is awful for you. It's not good for you. If you cut too fast, you're going to lose your muscle. You're going to lose your fat. But you're also going to lose your muscle, which you don't want to do. And you're going to be starving. If you bulk too fast, you're going to put on a lot of body fat. You're going to look like shit. You're going to feel like shit. And you're going to have to stuff your face every day. Just a happy medium of just slow bulk, slow cut. It will make like everything's better. Yeah, enough of the rant. Kind of made up for the rant for yesterday. Hopefully that was a good rant. But yeah, I'm about to sip on my pre. And uh, let's go kill these deads. All right, last warm up. See how this motherfucker moves to see what I'm doing. Working set.
Two sets of five resets. All right, hoping for a 170 for 12 here. Three sets. This will be a PR. Let's fucking get it. Strapping in. Gonna lose some weight.
And the next two sets are going to be very hard. Come on. Come on. Come on, this should be easy. 12, let's go. Last one. Get to see the back movie set. Yeah. Some cleaner up stars. Cleaner up, cleaner up, cleaner up. Fuck, let's go. That was way better than it used to be. Last set. Pump covers off for now. Might stay off. These are moving pretty well. I actually feeling it in my lats a lot. So keep this more locked in, stricter form like I've been doing. Let's get 12. possible here. At least 12 hopefully. Let's see what we get. Oh. 
Waited for the first time in a long time. So, see how many I get. Fifteen. Oh, my hamstrings. All right. Hopefully, we get at least twelve here. My back is burning. More than my first set. That's crazy. Seventeen.
All right, let's see what this back one looks like. For the bulk, it's not bad. Let's do that spring. Not awful. For the bulk, I'll happily take it. All right, let's get in the car. All right, super, super solid workout. Um, my back was fried. I got an actually really good pump. I look kind of dice low key in some of those angles, which is nice because I'm at a a high in weight for uh. Since I've like actually started lifting, I'm at my highest weight, which is good. Um, keep building up like I was talking about in the car right here. Just slowly build it. You see, I'm staying pretty lean, gaining strength like crazy, gaining muscle like crazy. Pause deadlift. So that was an insane PR for me. That was like that was like a seven and a half kilo PR for RP six. The lat pull down was a PR. The cable row weren't PR, but I kept my form strict and it was a good form PR. Uh, the pullovers were a PR. The hammer curls I kept really strict on purpose. The hyper extensor was a massive PR. I've never done weighted before, and they felt insane. My back got fried. My lower back got absolutely fried from those, which is a good thing, obviously. Back uh, pump was really solid. Um, obviously, you saw my deadlift form probably change, like even in between the the, th the four clips I had. My coach was there today, so he was helping me coach. He was helping like tell me what to do. My deadlift form on that last set felt so good, like. I'm a, obviously I was doing reset reps to make sure everything was perfect, but like it felt so good today. Like, I don't know. I, I assume it looked a lot better, but like I like learned how to like set up a little bit farther back than I was pull slack immediately from, um, pull slack immediately. Like the second I touch the bar, I'm pulling, like I'm pulling the bar before I even try to wedge. And then I hit and just, breathe in and pull all at once like it's one movement which is really really sick it's way 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 better than what i used to do like you see in the first warm-up set which i have on video the first warm-up set i'll hopefully pop it up while i'm talking about it but like the first warm-up set you see like i get into position then i like my move my hips like into position as i'm already in position now instead of doing that i'm just i'm there like i i grab the bar breathe in pull don't think about the hips like just hips go in the right position and pull and just pop up, push the chest up. Like everything looks way better, moves way better. So the deadlift is moving finally. I feel good about that. Um, today was hard. Obviously, yesterday I had told you I had legs, so not sore, but like my lower back is probably going to be pretty sore tomorrow. Tomorrow I have tempo squat, tempo bench. I believe tomorrow's fun. Um, I'll I might film tomorrow as well. Tomorrow's just like a really good day to film, just because it's like really good on form and you get to go pretty heavy because I have a single. Um, so I might film tomorrow too. We'll see if I have time. But yeah, good good workout today. Looked really good. I think that's a new spot for me to film my poses as well. It's a little better than the room. The lighting's just better. I mean, it is the locker room. It's a little awkward, but the lighting was pretty good. And I can actually see myself in the mirror a little bit, which helps. Um, but yeah, overall, solid workout. Like I said, I'm working on everything. I'm going to go home, eat my post-workout meal. It is 7 p.m. I did work out late today, which I knew was going to happen. Uh, actually, workout did not take long today. About normal two hours. It's pretty short for me, uh, which is good. Um, I just knew I, I got here pretty late, like 4.30. I had class. So I yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I hopefully will see you guys tomorrow if I have time. But either way, I'll see you guys at least one more time this week. So everything's moving well. And uh, hopefully we just keep keep progressing. I'll see you guys in the next one.